Hi guys, grab a elastic tubing. I'm so glad to see you. Bring your arm and pull your arms down. So I'm gonna start with the band pulling down as people come in. Breathe in and exhale, pull. Hi, we just started with our band. Breathe in and exhale, pull. Breathe in and exhale, pull. Now your neck is soft and easy. Your shoulder blades are going down your back. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now while you're doing this, I'm just going to show the side view. You're making sure your low back isn't more curved than usual. And you can do that by having a soft knees and your ribs pulling down. Mm -hmm. So your abs are helping you. And exhale and down. Now we're going to add on the arms come behind you. Bring your handles to the front. Your palms are up and you're going to push. This is going to be a pattern. Push out and then push forward. So it's a pattern of out and forward. Now, if you can manage the other cue, lift your heels lower. Lift your heels lower. If that's too much and you need to just concentrate on the upper body, then just do the upper body. Out, forward. Out and forward. Out and forward. You got it. So you can either do these flat footed or you can do them with your heel raise. Press and forward. Good morning and press. Good morning. And we're taking our band and it's behind our upper back and we're going forward and then we're going side. So the band is between the arm. Good job. And I'm going to step back so you can see the shoulder blades are down the back. And the add on option and just listen to your body is to add a heel raise. Now, if that disturbs you from your ability to concentrate on the upper body, don't add that. But you can add that and that patterning and learning new things for, with the body during exercise helps prevent cognitive decline. So we're lifting up if you can. We're not worrying about it if you can't. And do one more each, the arm should be burning and out. Now take a moment to lower the heels. Take your band, palms face forward, palms face up, supinated. Now both heels are gonna be in the middle of your band, but the modification is only one heel is in, your, is in the middle. You have equal tails, you're gonna bend your elbows and then you're going to begin lowering them. I'm going to show this at different angles. But for now, exhale, bend, and inhale, lower. Your knees are soft. Exhale, bend, inhale, lower. And exhale, bend, and lower. And exhale. Now, I'm going to go through some cues, so keep doing what you're doing. Your shoulders are open. They're down the back. So what you want to make sure is that the arms, the shoulders don't poke forward. The other cue is your knees are soft. You act like there's a marshmallow in your knees and that'll help keep the pelvis neutral. Keep going, I'm gonna come in a little closer. Notice that your ribs are gently tucked so you're not sway back here, you're just neutral pelvis, rubs over the pelvis. All right, let's take six more. Five, these are your carrying muscles, four, Slow up and slow down. Three, and wrist are neutral. Two, they're flat. And one. Now release that for a moment. Give yourself some shoulder circles. So go up and around. This is gonna, your scapula will feel like it's gliding on your ribs. And release any tension. Now we're going to take the band underneath our feet, one or two heels. Most likely you're going to use two heels, depending on your band strength. Make sure the band is even on each tail. Now you'll stand up. You're going to exhale. Imagine you're having to zip up a big coat. So you're pulling up the midline of your body. Your elbows are going wide. You can exhale when you're pulling. 
and inhale as you're returning. Good, I like it, really good. If it's too hard, the modification is take one of your feet out of the middle, so that gives you more length on the sides of the band. Exhale. Nice. What I like is that I see your shoulders are down the back, even though we're lifting our arm, our humerus, you're not lifting up your shoulders to your ears. So you have a long, beautiful neck the whole time. And enjoy the breath. You're gonna exhale and inhale. You should feel your shoulders and your biceps. Your wrist should feel good. So if you need to see how I've got mine diagonal because that is more neutral for my body, you might need to do the same so you're not forcing the wrist to be vertical. You want them to feel good and neutral. Nothing should hurt the joints. The challenge should be in the muscles. So we're gonna take three more. Two, two and one more, exhale. Nice job, and then bring that out so you're stepping on the, you're not stepping on the band. Take your band wide. Now this is a dynamic stretch. You're gonna take that wide band behind you and in front of you. This is one of my favorite stretches with the band. Go behind you. Now if it's too hard and you're having to contort your body, widen your grip on your arms, on your hands. If it's still too hard, give yourself a little pull wide laterally on the band when it's at that hard part right here. This another modification would be use an easier or lighter band. Now we're going to find three places that feel amazing. So this is simulating the three way doorway stretch. You are feeling the arms behind you as if you walked through a doorway and you caught your hands on the door frame. This is so good for posture and keeping the shoulders and the chest open and helping us avoid rounded back. Now I'll try another angle, maybe just an inch lower. Uh, there's a lot of right angles here, so just find another. The pecs have three different attachments, so I like to get these in different stretches to get those different attachments. Now I'll try a little lower. Yep, yeah, try one that feels good. Notice your shoulders are open and not poking forward. So I like that, that's beautiful. Notice the head, it's gonna to try to poke forward, but you're in control. The ear is in line with the shoulder from the side view. And that looks great, everybody's posture looks amazing. Lower that down and give yourself a little bit of a release. And then we're gonna take one called bow and arrow. If you have a tubing with the handle, I like to hold the hand where the belly button is. It really doesn't matter though, that's the benefit of the bands, it's hard to get it wrong. You're gonna push out like you're pulling a bow and arrow. This hand's just an anchor. Four, you got it. Now the slow and controlled, five, whoops, I just hit my roller. Six, your shoulders are down the back. Seven, good. Eight, everyone looks good. Nine, 10. Now try five more if you can. I know it's a little harder. Five, we need those triceps to get out of chairs. We need them if we were to fall. That's the muscle that usually catches you. And two, and exhale one. I like it. Release any tension and we're gonna do the other side. This is just my preference to put my hand up against the uh, handle. You don't have to. As long as you're pushing out, you're doing it right and you push in. You're gonna find a tension that you feel like you can do 15 times where it's fatiguing in the final reps. Five, good. But the good thing about the bands is, is it's easy to make the band longer or shorter in the middle. Shorter is harder, longer is easier. So this is 10. It should be starting to feel like your muscles getting warm on the back of your arm. And 12, good, you got it. Breathing, 13, that way we're keeping our blood pressure in check. 14, breathing in and out. And 15, I really like it. Let yourself get some shoulder release. And then we're gonna take that band behind your upper back shoulder blade area. So I'm gonna turn just so you can see somewhere in here. The palms are facing up again. Now I want you to imagine you're going breaststroking. So your palms open up and pull in. Another image is that you're putting spaghetti sauce on a big pizza dough. Spread it out into a circle. Neck is easy. There's no tension in the jaw exhaling good i'm going to turn just so you can see me five from the side but again the band makes it hard to um, 
mess up or do wrong. You're still gonna be working muscles, even if it's not a perfect circle. Now, the 10 the other way. So you go forward and around. Notice how my shoulders are down the back no matter what. I don't let them poke forward. I have these muscles right here active. My serratus, my lower traps, my lower lap fibers are keeping my shoulders down the back. They're keeping the neck long. Looking good. And exhale. And exhale. And good. Your body's starting to feel warmer now. Two more this way. One more. Nice. Now we're going to take the arms a hup, up and behind into one of those stretches. Everybody looks good. Your wrist, you can just tuck them forward a little. Yep, that's right. And that'll keep the wrist safe. Imagine there's a golden thread attached to your crown, lifting you up tall to the sky. Breathe into those muscles that were stretching the chest and the shoulders. Karen, that looks great. Inhale. And exhale, let that down. Now take your band or your tube behind you. So I'm going to hold it behind my head. This hand is my anchor. This hand is going to be about here. Now just catch it. It really doesn't matter too much on the bottom arm. You're going to push your top arm up and down. Now you know if it's too easy or too hard. If it's too easy, grab more band. Push up and down. Now keep your elbow high. So Julie on this one, keep your elbow real high and then just bend the elbow, but don't lower the arm. So keep that elbow up. Five, good, and just the hand, six. Now we got one arm's overhead, seven. So you wanna pull the ribs down a little bit so the abs are about 10% active. They're pulling your ribs down to protect your back. Now let's shoot for five more. It should start feeling like there's some warmth. Betty, that looks great. Your posture's getting so good. Three more. Neck is easy. You can move your neck at any time. That's how there's no tension. There's no congestion in there. Now that arm probably needs to rest for a moment. Take your other hand, catch the band behind your head. One hand goes here, probably just around your low back. Hold on and push the band up and back down and up and back down. Exhale and exhale and exhale and exhale and seven. You got it. And eight. And breathing. Nine. Good. Check your wrist. Make sure it's pretty straight the best you can. The hand facing the head's usually safer. Yep. The pinky side of your hand is what's pushing up towards the sky. Very good. And you can imagine your upper back's against an imaginary wall. And you should be starting to feel like it's getting warmer back there. Four, three, two, one more. Now release, and I'm gonna just put this down for a minute. Take your fingers at your low back if you can and open the arms away from your hips. The, the head might be tempted to poke forward, but you're gonna practice the ear is in line with the shoulder. So we're uh, helping to prevent or correct forward head syndrome or tech neck. Looking good. Yes, very good, I like it. Release your hands for a moment with a handhold and massage your hand in a little circle. That's also gonna get some synovial fluid to your wrist. Go the other way. All right, we're going to grab a sip and then do our uh, triceps. So if you have something to drink, grab it. <clears throat> eight, we shoot for eight to 12 ounces every class. Now you're going to be stepping on your band with your heel, one arm only. So I know we usually do two arms. Let me step back so you can see my face. One arm only out to the side, to the side, to the side. Now this is a lat raise for your shoulder, but not your neck. Your shoulder is active. If you touch it, it's strong, but not your neck. Your body stays upright. It doesn't lean away. 10, 11, 12, long arm, 13. And how you make it easier is move away from your hand on that band. 
Now try 15 on the other side. Step on the band. So if your left hand has the band, your left heel is on the band, you open up. If you find it's too hard, you walk over a little bit. Exhale, good. Four. Now your arm is going out to the side, but you can see it. It's not drifting behind you. And you might give yourself more room if you like on that band or grab a lighter band if you can't quite get it to shoulder height. Nine, but we're not gonna take it any higher than shoulder height. Five more, 11. The scapular plane is that plane just, we're in the, just the front of your body. In other words, the arm's not behind you. 14 and 15. Nice job. Now I'm going to have us sit down. So I'm going to tilt my screen down, grab your band. Or if you've been noticing you're getting stronger, grab a second band or the strongest band you have. You're stronger in your back. Now you're going to put the band around your feet. I am going to move back so you can see me. Cross your band like an X. Walk your hands down low and pull your elbows. Now this is the row, pull your elbows. Now let's say you're feeling like you're getting stronger and you don't quite have enough tension because this is a strong area. You can take two bands and that'll increase the tension right away. And I like how you did that, Michelle. You just release any tension in your neck, pull your elbows, exhale, Pull your elbows, exhale, exhale, and exhale. Nice, and pull. All right, take 10 more. So we're doing more reps on these back muscles. 12, 13, 14, 15, neck is easy, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good. Now, just take one band if you had two, and you're going to add a rotation. So walk your hands down low. I don't have them in the handles. I actually have them on the band. If you have handles, just grab the band. Now pull right, or the two, and then pull left as you rotate. You're going to rotate right. Now you're sitting tall and then you rotate left. You're sitting tall. You make sure you're sitting tall before you add your rotation and you pull and you pull. Now, if you can take one more cue, notice how far you're rotating right. See if you can match that feel on the left or vice versa. So you're, you're consciously trying to be equal. You may notice that you're tighter and you can spin on one side, then you can spend a little more conscious effort on that. One more cue if you can take it is palm up as you rotate. Palm up as you rotate. Exhale, palm up like you have a cup of soup in your hand. Palm up. So just remember that adding on the cues for memory uh, while exercising, because the brain doesn't get as much blood flow as the other organs, helps keep the brain elastic, pliant neuroplasticity. So it helps prevent cognitive decline. So if it feels frustrating, just have fun with it and try to do the best you can. Take one more on each. Exhale. Now take a moment. Let that go for just a moment. I want to give us a stretch in the middle of this called the rack. Go up and back. The fingers face away. Go up and back the fingers face away. Now both hands are facing away, but soften your elbows. It's hard to know what's going on back there, but soften them, lift your heart. You can tell this is a great posture for posture. This is gonna help prevent a rounded upper back. This is gonna help keep the spine erect. The chest and shoulders are open. They do so much during the day that we naturally kind of get rounded forward if we do not intervene. So this is an intervening stretch. When your posture's upright, you can have more breath coming in. Your hormones uh, that make you happy, the dopamine, the, they all get to fire a little easier with this open, expansive posture. Posture begets mood, mood begets posture. So we want to 
influence the posture and it will influence our mood. Now we're going to take the hand forward and pull the fingers down. This is a finger stretch, hand stretch, forearm stretch. That's great, Karen. And then try the other side, pull the fingers down. Oh, sometimes you don't know one's tighter than the other till you do it. Now we're gonna go back to our band or our tubing around your feet. So take your band or your tubing around your arch now, or your heel arch. Now cross your rope, put your elbows close to your sides as if you're holding on to something. Open up just the forearms. This is external rotation. This is often a rehab exercise. I like to do it as prehab, so we don't have to go to rehab ideally. So just see, it doesn't matter that it's not a big motion. This one's kind of a small one anyway. Forearms open, elbows glued. You can see what it's working, the back of your shoulder, which doesn't get much attention in everyday life. So we're strengthening those stabilizers of the shoulder and we're not lifting our shoulders up by our ears. So the neck feels really long. You're practicing posture in the torso, but if it's too hard to sit upright and you kind of round, just sit on a, a pillow or sit on a block or sit in a chair. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna open up the band so it's not crossed anymore. It's still around our feet. Now act like you are the letter T. You're kind of a rounded T. You're gonna open up your hands towards the sides of the room. The sides of the room. Neck is soft. Whew. Neck is soft. Good, open up. Whew. Good, open. Now the back shoulder is working, the rear deltoid, the posterior deltoid. A little bit of rhomboid as your scapula come together is working too. The back body is so important to keep strong for posture and to balance out what the front body normally does. Okay, three more the best you can. Two and one. Now, let your, uh, we're going to take a stretch. Let your arm go to the floor or it may be that your elbow can go to the floor. Now, while you're here, notice this neck is long still, my shoulders down the back. Breathe into the rib cage that's exposed. Add a little tilt towards the floor. That's going to get your low back. Breathe into the rib cage. Open up towards the sky. Now, if it hurts your neck to look up, just look down, but still open up the rib cage. Those are posture muscles for stretching, intercostals for breathing. If inhale, come up. If any of you have had any respiratory illnesses this year, we're stretching out those muscles. Bringing them fresh new oxygen, fresh new life. And this is also increasing the pliancy in those secondary respiratory muscles. So we're supporting our ability to get breath in, feel vibrant, feel radiant. Now exhale, rotate down. Feel how that's a little different. Breathe in. Lateral flexion stretches like this are so good to help prevent rounded shoulders and so good for posture to promote erect posture. Now rotate towards the sky. Now, if it hurts you to look up, just look straight at me or down at the floor. Another trick is you can close your eyes and really go inside of these stretches and feel how miraculous your body is and that you're giving it care and nur nurturing. Now come back up. I wanna do one more because it's a nice one for the back. Take your band around your feet now you could have your hands in the um, uh, handles or on the tube, it doesn't matter. The main thing that matters is that you're pulling your arms back. Now you notice that I am, I'm not next to my hips because my arms would hit the floor. So I have to be a little bit wider so that hands don't run into the floor. So wider than your hips, but just wide enough that your finger, your skin might graze the floor, but you're not impeding your own range of motion. Lat pulls, neck is long, it's easy to, I can move it at any moment. Exhale, exhale, exhale. In five, four, three, two, and one. 
Very good. Now we're going to take a stand. So come back up to stand. And one little trick you can do with yourself is see how few times you can touch the floor to stand. That's a marker of functional age. So it's okay if you have to touch the floor or touch your knee, but just give yourself an opportunity to, to lovingly monitor that. Now you can touch something if you would like. A floor, a foam roller. Lift up both heels and lower and just do 10 up and down. Knees are soft. This is for the lower body. This is also for vascular system. And up and down. We're going to at least touch these muscles. Now we're going to do a set of squats. You can do them as if there's a chair behind you and you want to sit in the chair. You can also, if you prefer, you can put a couple of weights in your hand and add on a little bit of weight. So pretend there's a chair behind you and you may even actually have a chair behind you and then pick up some suitcases. I will just turn so you can see my back is long. It's not rounded. My booty is going back. My heels are so heavy that my toes can lift off the ground. And I'm just gonna keep talking, keep doing what you're doing. My knees, our knees are tracking with our second toe. They're not touching each other, which is uh, really uh, a common error in females sometimes just because our hips are wider. We just have to watch out for that. Our hips are wider than our knees. Now your glutes should feel this, not your knees. Maybe, yeah, good, Karen. Inhale and exhale, I like it. Now one more. Now if you have your weights, get rid of them. Now this is one-footed balance. And keep going. I am going to have you do this before you go. If you have, see if you can lift and spread your toes. Can you see how I'm trying to lift and spread them? Lift and spread your toes five times because those toes are what's keeping us helpful balance and those arches. Now, once you do that, put your foot up to wherever you're going to for one legged balance and hold. So what we did was open up the toes and now we're doing a one legged balance. Try not to touch anything. You might even lift up your arms. If you need to touch something, by all means do, but if you can just be near it, 10 more, nine, good. I'm just changing it up to show you that you can do all sorts of things. Seven, six, five, four, three, breathe in, two, and lower. Now lift and spread your toes again like I just showed and then pick up your other foot. It can be on your calf, it can be on your inner thigh. This is a uh, one-legged balance is really important to prevent falls. And I want us to have strength. So feel the strength in your body, feel the care you're giving your body, you're nurturing it now. The eyes are soft, probably on a, a spot on the wall ahead of you that isn't moving. You're breathing in and out. You have an energy of calm determination. Calm determination. And just like a tree outside, if the wind blows, it's okay that you move a little bit. You have, it's okay to move. You're not rigid. It's that flexibility in the joint that you'll feel. Hands come down. Let your feet come down. Now, just for a moment, you can put one hand on your heart and then the other hand on your heart. Let your shoulders soften. And if you'd like, close your eyes and take an inhale through your nose. That'll help keep the sinuses pliant if you can. If not, just breathe in your mouth and send the energy to your heart. Feel your chest expand. And as you exhale, release anything from the past or the future. Breathe in, send that energy to your heart. And exhale, release anything from the past or future. Just let yourself enjoy this present moment. Being still. Now we're gonna layer that breath with an intention of love and self-nurturing. We're gonna to listen to ourselves today when they tell us they need a drink of water, when they tell us they need a breath of fresh air. And you'll notice as you take care of yourself that it's easier to be good with others. The heart feeds itself 
blood first and then it can pump the blood to the other body parts. And so with that intention of self-care that will also lead to self-care of, other, care of others, we're gonna have that intention for the next couple hours. With so much care and appreciation, thank you guys so much for coming. I'm so glad to see you. Have a beautiful Tuesday. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much.